An often forgotten about way to fix drywall is using these clout nails. They have a large flat top that can be used to go through the plasterboard and into the timber behind. You can only use these on timber studs. They won't be suitable for metal studs. One thing to mention as an important safety warning is never ever use wood screws to fix drywall. Wood screws, if exposed to moisture, will start to rust. And once you've finished taping and jointing your plasterboards, if the screw does get rusty, it could show through your paintwork. That's why whenever you're fixing drywall, you always use phosphate coated plasterboard screws. You'll notice that wood screws all have a posi head, which is indicated by the little star, whereas plasterboard screws are just a Phillips head. It's important that you use a Phillips head with your plasterboard screws, not a posi head. And I'd always invest in a good magnetic bit like this so that when you start plasterboarding, your phosphate coated plasterboard screw stays on your drill. And these are actually resistant to moisture, so these won't rust and show through your finished paintwork. Whenever you use a drywall screw or a drywall fixing, you want it flush with the surface or about half a millimetre below. To test that all your screws are flush, you can run a piece of wood over the top and check that nothing catches. If you do find that one of your screws pulls through the paper, you don't need to worry, you don't need to take it out. You just want to put another drywall screw next to it. The only time you'd remove a screw is if you missed the end of your timber. If your screw goes through like that, then you will need to remove it before taping and jointing. You always want to position your drywall screw or your clout nail half an inch in from the edge of the board. You always want to try and keep the factory edge of both boards on the join on your timber stud. So you want to be half an inch in. You can angle your nail slightly if you want. And you're just trying to hammer that in flush with the top of the drywall. These won't rust when you do your taping and jointing. We've got our fixings in there. So you have two options when it comes to fixing drywall. You've got phosphate coated drywall screws or you've also got clout head nails. If you found this video helpful, drop us a like. And if you want more quick and simple DIY tips, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.